If Senator Landry were to lose in this election, it would be tragic. The Democratic Party is toxic. The state is a shade of fire engine red. Whoa! Does she have a chance at all, you think? We have the race that we want. And Bill Cassidy, you cannot run. You cannot hide anymore. This race is starting tonight. Mary Landry is the three-term Democratic senator from Louisiana who's running against Bill Cassidy, who's a GOP congressman. Now, Louisiana has a unique system. You have to get 50% of the vote on election day. Now, neither candidate did this year, and so the race is going to a runoff that's taking place on Saturday, December the 6th. This is Insight on WRKF. I'm Amy Jeffries. We've gone immediately from a primary campaign to a runoff campaign. Jeremy Alford, publisher of LawPolitics.com. How are you holding up? I'm tired. <laughs> I'm, I, I was ready for the for the primary to come and go, and now we got to get through the post game and, and take a deep breath on the weekend. We were all eager to see what's going to happen with Mary Landry. You know, not only is she part of this political dynasty that that lives in the imagination of the state, but she is the last remaining statewide Democratic elected official. You could not exaggerate how big a deal the Landrew family is in New Orleans. Mary Landrew's father, Moon Landrew, was elected mayor while I was a high school student in New Orleans. And her brother, Mitch Landrew, is now the mayor of New Orleans. Landrew transformed city government in New Orleans. He was one of the first people to appoint a black executive assistant, the equivalent of black cabinet members. He gave high-ranking jobs to blacks, and he gave large contracts to blacks. And if you look at the fact that his son is the white mayor of a predominantly black city, I think that shows just how powerfully the name carries even today. She looks like someone's kid sister or a page delivering a message to a state representative. But in this case, 25-year-old Mary Landrieu is the state representative. Mary Landrieu's elected journey started in 1979. It first led her through the state house and then as treasurer and eventually to Congress. She's had a very long time to build her brand. But Katrina was the point where Landrew stood on her own. That was the point where she delivered disaster recovery dollars. And I think for folks in that community, she became part of that larger legacy. We know what Mary Landrew can do. She has proven herself. She has been there for us. She has been there with us. She walked hand in hand with us. She cried with us, you know, because we have been through some serious times in New Orleans. I've now worked with three presidents, four majority leaders, and six governors. I think of her as being a very moderate Democrat, so she isn't as progressive as I would like her to be on issues of the environment. So I find it really baffling that there's so much opposition to her, given that she's been very friendly to the oil industry. Senator, Senator. is there any pressure that this race... Bill, 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 Bill,
even though it's raising rates most recently by 20% on top of many other 20% prior. Louisiana politics has changed a great deal. Does she have a chance at all, you think? If you go back 10 years, you would look around the state and you would see a state with a Democratic-controlled House, a Democratic-controlled Senate. Most statewide elected officials were Democrats. Boy, look at this picture they have on the front page. Who won? They both won, apparently. They both look very happy. If you move up to the election of Barack Obama and beyond, you see a state that is very quickly and very strongly turning away from the Democratic Party and towards the Republican Party. One of the biggest issues has been the migration of French Acadian Catholic voters to the Republican Party. Gradually, Catholics started to listen to the, uh, the abortion message, and that issue started to really become a preeminent issue. And as it did, they started to move then to the Republican Party. So now you're starting to see a Democratic Party in Louisiana that is majority black and is starting to be very, very less conservative than the Republican Party, which is now almost entirely white and is very, very conservative. Thank you, man. It's good to see you. At a time when we have uh, only her as our, as our statewide elected Democrat, uh, it, it's very important that we keep her in place so she can help us. You want to have a safe place to live, which means creating real opportunities for the people that live in areas that may be impoverished, which means delivering on, on, on economic development opportunities that are going to provide real jobs. Uh, and Mary has done that. I think it's frustrating that someone who has delivered so much uh, is even in a race right now. Some of the biggest revenue generating measures to come down from the federal level have Mary Landry's fingerprints all over it. From federal recovery money for Hurricane Katrina and Rita to offshore energy royalty sharing programs uh, that, that we share with other oil producing states. It's my great joy to represent this industry, to represent the people of the state, and to fight for them in a place that they're not very well understood. In mid-November, just weeks before the runoff, Senate Democrats brought up the Keystone Pipeline to the floor to give Senator Landrieu an opportunity to score a political win. Now, the Keystone Pipeline is not popular with the liberal wing of the Democratic Party. It is not a good thing for this country. It is not a good thing for jobs. But for the oil and gas-based economy of Louisiana, it's obviously wildly popular. Energy independence for our nation is possible. For the My colleagues reported that in the lead up to the Keystone vote, Senator Landry held meeting after meeting, pleading with her Democratic colleagues to support the Keystone bill, even appearing on the verge of tears at a party luncheon right before the vote. The 60 vote threshold having not been achieved, the bill is not passed. Senator Landry fell short by one vote, but she remains defiant. My experience is still valuable. My chairmanship of the Energy Committee to the end of this Congress is very valuable to the people of Louisiana. And when I get back here as ranking member with 18 years of experience, having worked with three presidents, six governors, and four majority leaders of all different parties to represent the people of my state is valuable in itself.